you know, and uh, it's not all that's the key. You know, if you go in ones and twos, yeah. you can get picked off. Um, but I thought tonight, counter press, especially first half, was very, very good. Suffocates the other team, and when you do that, it's hard for them to then get out, and you sort of gain the momentum. Yeah. Um, and I felt as though that was that was top level today. Yeah. At the start of the second half, is it difficult when you've dominated a game? I think United only had 24% possession in that first half. You're two nil up. How do you how do you go again? Because you had a spell there. Where they, where they got at you a little bit, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, I think they changed a little bit at half-time and we, we had to adapt a little bit. And Yeah, again, we didn't start the second half great. Um, I think they got a corner, corner early on. Um, but after that, I thought we worked it out, um, played some great stuff and scored some more good goals. Um, and in the end, like I said, it was, it was a comfortable win for us. Jordan, I'm fascinated as well at this stage of the season in four competitions. We're mid-April now as well. Everybody, virtually, for me, no little not today, but everybody's fit. What's the secret behind that? Is the way you train, the way you, your dietitians, or, or I mean, it's it's uncanny to get to this stage of the season and have everybody fit playing so many games that you've played. Yeah, I feel as though since since January, you know, we had a lot a few injuries before that, and then players on African Nations Cup, but then since that break and we we'll come back. I feel as though we've used the squad really well. You know, managers rotated um, a lot, especially midfield. And yeah, you don't really like it so much as players. <laughs> you want to be playing all the time. But you can see the benefits of that for the team and uh, the energy levels has, has been high and that's worked really well for us. And if we are going to keep performing and keep playing to the highest level right from now till the end of the season, we're going to need everyone. And is this the big, the best squad you've ever... Because we've often thought that the, your 11 or maybe your 14, 15 over recent seasons has been exceptional now it looks like there's 18, 19 or, or even more it's, it looks like the best squad you've ever had here yeah I think it, it looks really strong because like you said everybody's fit you know the last couple of seasons especially last yeah. season we had a lot of injuries um, and, and the squad looked pretty thin but now everybody's fit you know some of the lads that aren't even making the squads who have been training really good who are top level players um, and that just shows the strength and depth that we've got but we're going to need everyone like I said from now to the end of the season if we want to finish strong and I think that's part of your role as captain I think you're brilliant that as well is when you've got such a brilliant squad of players there's going to be people disappointed and missing out on big games especially this start uh, no with these last seven eight nine games big games you've got is that a big part you feel to really build it build these lads up as well to put a goal to them their arm on the shoulder these young lads who are desperate to play do you feel yeah. that as a big part of you and Millie especially yeah, in Van Dijk? Yeah, and it's not easy, you know, when you're not yeah. playing. You're oh, missing big yeah. games, you know, yeah. as you know, you want to be playing all the time, yeah, you feel yeah, yeah. really good. But at the end of the day, like, the manager, you can't argue with the manager, you know, he, know, he knows yeah. what he's doing and you get on with it. Yes, if, if, you look, if you look at someone and you feel as though they're a bit down, you've got to get your arm around them and say, listen, we're going to need everyone and, and that's a big part of the leaders within the, within the group. But I feel as though that's a big plus this season, how everybody's reacted when they haven't been yeah. playing, when they've then come on or when they've started, they've made a big impact and a big yeah. difference. And that's been a, a huge part of the season so far and, and we're going to need that right till the end. And yeah. just finally, you talk about reacting. I know it's one game at a time, but you've played first this time. You're top of the league. It's over to City tomorrow. What's it like when you've done your job? And they play 24 hours later. Again, again you can't waste energy on, on, on thinking about, about City. You know, they're a fantastic team. And, um, yeah, it's going to be really difficult from now to the end of the season. But all we can do is focus on, on what, what we can do, you know, and that's perform every single game um, and then see where we are at the end of the season. And that's, that's all we can do, really. Well, you've done it again tonight in emphatic fashion. Thanks very much Thank indeed you. for joining us see again. You. Good Thanks. to see you. Well done, Jordan. Well done, all the best. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Jordan Henderson live for you. Uh